it's Marissa and Shauna and today's video is going to be things to do when you're bored at home other than Netflix other than Netflix because I feel like everybody says Netflix Hulu Disney Plus yeah other than those things yeah I mean obviously we're all being advised to stay indoors right now and kind of practice social distancing speaking of which oh we're a little too close dude no, I'm I mean I I hate being quarantined with this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, we're not quarantined. We're just like officially. We're just like trying to stay yeah. indoors. And, and stuff. also, like everything's shut down anyway. So I mm -hmm. kind of feel like everyone's staying indoors, not really going out. Everyone's like doing practicing quarantining or social yeah. distancing, if you will. Like people are really only going out for like the essentials. Oh um, yeah, and I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys are home from school and probably watching a lot more YouTube. <laughs> a lot more YouTube. So yeah, this is like our quarantine routine. I just didn't want to put Netflix in it because I feel like everyone is just advising like watch watch TV, watch TV, watch TV, watch. And so I'm sure you're doing plenty of that already. I just wanted to be more creative. Yeah, like, like, to, to like pitch you some ideas that were like different than just watch TV. Cause it's like, that's kind of a no brainer. I do that anyway. I do that I when I'm not like quarantining myself. Exactly. <laughs> So I've seen a lot of people post like they're really upset about the gyms being closed. So I feel like one really good thing is to um, kind of search YouTube and find good workout videos. There's a lot, there's like millions of workout videos on YouTube. Like you can find ones that are five minutes, an hour long, um, ones where you need weights, ones where you don't need weights. So I feel like this is just great for people who are like, who are just like really anxious, need something to do, need to like get their get their workout in. And I feel like these are great because you don't need like a gym, you don't need equipment, you don't need any of that stuff. You just really need yourself. Um, so yeah, I feel like these are great to just like pass the time and get a workout in when you can't go to the gym. Unless you're one of those like really rich people that has a gym in your oh, house, yeah. in which case I'm very jealous of you. <laughs> but most of us don't have that, so yeah. <laughs> and it's good to stay working out to just like stay healthy, keep your immune system up so that way you are less likely to be affected by the coronavirus I feel yeah so this is a good one because I feel like it's something that people put off a lot and they say oh I'll do it another time we'll do it another time and it is decluttering because if you're stuck indoors if you're self quarantining or self quarantining <laughs> or you're social distancing or whatever and you're indoors I feel like there's really no better time to just go through everything kind of decide what you need and what you don't need I feel like it's great to do this with clothes because oh, it's yeah. like when you're indoors and you're trying to survive it's like you re really realize you don't need 900 changes of clothes yeah because you're indoors so it's like you're not gonna be changing your outfit like that much like obviously you're gonna be changing but like you're not gonna be like yeah wearing party dresses and stuff so i don't know i feel like it's just great to like declutter like for me it's like makeup products clothes just things that I don't need and sometimes I just go will go through my stuff and I'll just have really random stuff like I'll just have like a ton of extra pens or like <laughs> when you get those like um, at those like booths you get those little balls of like oh those like little blow-up balls and you just like, like beach balls yeah like beach ball. like I have random stuff in my room. <laughs> that's like, really random I have like random beach balls in my room so yeah I need to yeah. need to declutter those just cuz can't really use them so yeah, yeah. So speaking of decluttering, I feel like just beautifying your space that you live in um, can also really help with this whole like social distancing thing is just creating a nice space where, you know, it's beautiful and you feel at home. And um, so last year you guys saw us work with Framebridge, which is a company that does custom framing. And we actually worked with them again and we wanted to take you guys a little bit through the process of sending in pictures that you may have either artwork or posters or maybe even a painting that you did or you know a photo that you that you took um and taking you through the process of how to get it framed with them so I love art and I'm always coming across more artwork that I like and want to put on my walls. So I recently got five new pieces of art framed with Framebridge and it was super easy. You just go on their website and then fill in the dimensions of how big your artwork is and also what type of artwork it is like 
whether it's like a painting or a print, and then you choose which frame you like best. And they can actually ship you a shipping tube or a flat cardboard mailer to protect your art and to keep it safe during like the shipping process when you mail your art to them. And then they just send it back to you um, along with nails to hang it on the wall. And I've gotten a lot of pieces framed with them at this point, and the quality always comes out amazing. It's really beautiful, really sophisticated. It's just very like professionally done. It feels like a museum. We decided to frame this painting that Shauna made, and we chose the frame Bowery to go with it, and it's this wide classic champagne frame, and it honestly reminds me of something you would see in an art museum like the Louvre in Paris. It's just so fancy. Next, we decided to frame this kaleidoscope of butterflies, and it's by the artist Damien Hirst. And this artwork is very like modern and contemporary, so we decided to go for the Beaumont frame, which is a very like clean, simple, modern silver frame that just really lets the artwork shine. So for the last three pictures, we framed posters that look like penguin book covers, but with whimsical titles. And these are all by the artist Harland Miller. And we decided to go for the same frame on all of them, which is the Buckhead frame. And the Buckhead frame is my personal favorite out of all the frames. It's a silver beaded frame and it pretty much looks good with everything, like you can't go wrong. Um, and I have other pieces in my house from Framebridge that I use the Buckhead head frame for as well. So I will link Framebridge down below so you guys can check them out, get some artwork framed, and just make your space more beautiful. So I feel like this is something a lot of people have been doing, but it is to get more into baking. And I kind of feel like this is something like I'm kind of being forced to do because like when you have limited supplies like you kind of have to make do but I feel like I've been a lot more creative with like baking and stuff like the other day I made these like biscuits with this like cinnamon honey butter mm -hmm. and it was really good and I kind of feel good. like I kind of feel like it's like yeah it's like your time to be more creative and also the fact that there is like limited there's like not that much food like there's still food out there but I kind of feel like when you go to the grocery store and stuff you're really limited of what you can buy because there's so much stuff people are just like hoarding and so almost everything's gone like milk eggs butter like there's so much things in the grocery store that are just gone so I kind of feel like just like get creative with it yeah. like I saw someone on Instagram they did something where they had three like random ingredients and they had to like make a meal out of it and I thought oh. it was cool I was like oh that's a fun challenge I want to do that like that sounds cool three random and it was like chocolate pretzels and something else and they had to like pe I mean, peanut butter. I don't know but like it was I, I was into it <laughs> so yeah like get more into baking like even if you don't feel like even if you don't feel like you have food there's always something you can make mm -hmm. like there's always something <laughs> oh, yeah, baking can be very relaxing yeah so one thing that I've been doing has been painting and I've had this set of watercolor paints and watercolor paper and I just it's kind of just been sitting there for months and finally this has given me the opportunity to just like crack it open and like start painting. So I've been painting lots of mermaids. Oh yeah, dude, there's like a million mermaid paintings. <laughs> Not a million. There's like a million, like they're just laying everywhere. <laughs> We're being invaded with mermaid paintings, but I like the mermaid mermaids. mood, you know? I like mermaids though, so like I'm not mad about it. Yeah, it's better than like something random, like leprechauns, like. I mean, painting is a lot of fun. You know, it lets you be creative. And, y yeah. you know, I, I feel like it's good to not put pressure on yourself. Like, it has to look perfect. You know, just just have fun with it. Oh, yeah. And even if you don't have paints, like, you can just get a piece of, like, regular paper and draw. Like, yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So this one might seem, like, really cliche, but I feel like listening to music, getting your groove on, and having like dance parties with yourself. Mm -hmm. Like I know people suggest that, and I feel like when other people say it, it's like, it kind of sounds like a joke, but like I'm being totally serious. Like I will put together like a 45 minute playlist and then just dance around my room to it. And afterward, I just feel so much better because it's like you kind of got a workout in, you jammed to your favorite music. It's just like a win-win. And it's like when you can't really go out there or do anything and like, 
all the entertainment stuff is closed, like everything's closed and like people are not really going out. It's kind of like, you gotta make your own fun. You gotta like, yeah. <laughs> you gotta do your own stuff. Or like if you're really into dancing, like you can practice stretching. You can like work on your, work on your gymnastics, like get your split down, like do a back bend, like kind of like practice all those moves on carpeting, of course, make sure you're safe. But um, yeah, I feel like it's like a great time to do those things because when when you can go out and stuff like I feel like there are things that like I don't really focus on as much but like when you have to stay in you could just focus on you yeah and music has such a big impact on your mood I feel like it's just something that can't even be explained it just you listen to music and it can just make you feel a particular way oh, like, yeah. you should have happy playlists yeah happy playlists <laughs> no sad playlists oh my gosh I listen to Lizzo and then I'm like yeah I feel yeah. empowered <laughs> So I feel like I've been doing a lot more reading and I have a Kindle, which makes it really easy to buy books on. Um, but even if you don't, just like more reading, I feel like everyone keeps recommending Netflix, Netflix, Netflix. But yeah. you know, like how everyone loves the TV show You. So it's actually based on a book. Um, mm. it, and the, set, the second series is also based on a book. It's called Hidden Bodies. And believe it or not, the books are like so good. I actually think that the books are better than the TV show. So I mean, just, yeah, just find some good books to read. Oh yeah, and I kind of feel like there's only so long you can watch Netflix. Like, yeah, after like hour 17, you want something different. <laughs> so those were some things to do at home other than watching Netflix mm -hmm. and Hulu and Disney Plus and Amazon <laughs> Prime Video. Okay. All of those things are great and I watch them all myself, but you know, it's yeah. good to do other stuff sometimes so that yeah. way when this thing ends and we can go out again regularly, mm -hmm. we're not just like, my eyes aren't like, I've gone blind from just watching oh, yeah. TV. <laughs> oh yeah, well I just feel like that's just a given. Like we're all gonna be yeah. watching tons of TV. What else <laughs> can you do? Like, has anyone ever said, watch Netflix? And I'm like, I never thought of that. I know. <laughs> Wait a minute, I have Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, said no one ever. So yeah, these were just some things you can do. And hopefully you guys liked our suggestions. Gosh, what was your favorite thing? Oh, I um, like Frame Bridge, cause you really are into like artwork. Yeah. And beautifying spaces. Yeah. Ooh, for me, probably like baking, just cause I mm. think it's fun. I think it's like something like I don't normally do, so I like that it's like different. Oh yeah, and comment down below any ideas that you guys might have for things that we can do during oh, yeah. this like social distancing time. Oh yeah, because a lot of you are probably not in school, so like yeah, you what got a lot of time. Doing? What are y'all been doing? You just watching Netflix? You got some watching YouTube? Got some tips for us? <laughs> and we love you guys. Big kiss and bye guys. Bye guys.